to be a bestseller for over two years, a story has to really connect with people. And Tuesdays with Maury resonates with everybody. I think we all relate to Mitch. His life is just going by too quickly. And then he was blessed to stop and find his old teacher, Maury. And even though Maury was dying, he taught us about living. All of life is about teaching and learning. When you learn, teach, when you get, give. Life is filled with Maury's. We all just need to look around. My old professor loved to eat. What do you say? He especially liked tongue. I'd say, Maury, that's disgusting. He'd say, I'm sorry you think so. I also like coleslaw. Can you handle coleslaw, Mitch? Excuse me. Near the top of the list of things he loved was dancing. had his own way of dancing. He'd do the Lindy to Jimi Hendrix. He jitterbug to name a band, Nine Inch Nails. Hey, just put it on. You're gonna love it. One of his favorites was the tango. His own version, of course. Wherever it came from, Come on, join in. it was in Argentina. Moments like that, he could live in forever. In the summer of 1994, he began to notice a few things. Shortness of breath, legs giving him a little trouble. But what do you expect at 77? stopped forever in the summer of 1994. That was when Maury got his death sentence. about what happened to my old professor. I hadn't seen him since graduation day 16 years ago. I promised I'd keep in touch, but I got busy dancing my own dance. Walter, it's a zoo here. Just hold the space for me, okay? Give me a break. Have I ever missed a deadline? Janine, hi, did I wake you, honey? Everything I did, I did on deadline. I'm so, it's crazy here. Everything. I just want to say I love you, and I'm sorry. Coach, you know me, and so to the team. Should have talked to him before the game. Yeah, no, we definitely have to talk, I know. One second. Yeah, I gotta go. I love you. Bye-bye. Coach, 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 what'd you say to the team? Did the word discipline come up? <laughs> How about the word maturity? <laughs> Still 
Sports are always in season in this country, and I covered them all, living in planes and hotels with a laptop and a cell phone. I might never have known what had happened to Maury if I wasn't always doing six things at once. I mean, come on. Because I've been in love with you for seven years, doesn't that? Yeah, but in my book, that is a commitment. Yeah. Okay, do we have to talk about this now? This is the only thing we ever fight about. Yeah, because look at what marriage does to people. Look, I'm not watching it, it's just on. Look at what marriage does to people. Look at our married friends. Look at our divorced friends. Well, look, I'll be back in Detroit tomorrow. We'll talk about this then, okay? Yeah, well, I'll make time. <laughs> Just who is Maury Schwartz? And why, by the end of the night, are so many of you going to care about him? Gee, hang on one second. This is ABC News Nightline. One second. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. Tonight, Maury. Lessons on living. Maury is going to die. He suffers from a disease called ALS, better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Maury Schwartz is a retired sociology professor from Brandeis University who is dying of ALS. Maury does not have long to live. I'm on the last great journey here, one we all got to take. Maybe I can teach people what to pack for the trip. Janine? Hello? Now, maybe my dying can be of value something we can all learn from like a a human textbook i've been a teacher all my life you think i'm going to quit now <laughs> tim i'm losing yet i'm just getting to work let me call you back okay very good all right mitch tomorrow's page oh excellent congratulations oh, what the column it's all right a little rushed Oh, it's official, huh? Baseball strike is over. Yeah, which means I need you in Florida for spring training. I thought it was rushed. It read terrific. Oh, I mean, congratulations you. on your sweet little TV deal. Walter, local TV. One Books show and the radio show One and whatever show. else you got going, take 20 words out. My column comes How first. How many hours you got in your day? What difference does it make? All I'm as saying is that you're little. spreading yourself a little what thin. Difference does it make? You think you can find a little time to write a piece for the baseball strike ending tomorrow? Hi. It's a personal call. Janine, I can't Say hello to Janine for me. Hello. Hello, it's me. Will you pick up, please? Janine. Janine, you have to talk to me sometime. Will you pick up the phone, please. All right. Um, I'll uh, I'll come by work, I guess. I love you. should go on strike. <laughs> so, yeah, what's up, guys? Hold, hold, hold for a second. Uh, something's not right here. Take a break for a second, ladies. Mitch, make yourself useful, man. Give me an F-sharp. Yeah, that's great. That's F-sharp. Hey. Hey. I've been trying to call. Are you uh, ever going to talk to me again? I was talking to you last night, you and the TV, and then I sort of got the idea that you didn't want to talk. I got some bad news last night. Uh, a guy I used to know, a teacher of mine back in college, is sick. He's gonna die. Oh, Mitch, I'm sorry. Were you very close to him? I used to be, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, okay, y'all, let's uh, try this. We both gotta work on our phone matters. I love you, too. Okay. Let's just pick this up, ladies. 